Hello, everyone. I just want to give everyone a few minutes to jump on. Um, we're going to be teaching you how to use this calculator to figure out how many worms you need to start with how many bins you need to start to be able to sell a certain amount of worms um, per week. Um, I see we've had one join. If you could just let me know where you're from, who you are, if you want to expose yourself, that would be wonderful. Um, Uh-oh, they done left. <laughs> hello, hello. If you could put in your in the comments where you're from. Just giving a few minutes for everyone to jump on. How are you today? It's Mimi, y'all. Let me know where you're watching from. Just want to give give everybody a few minutes to uh, to get on here, and then we'll start the the um, the live with the information we have to bring to you today. Um, for those of you who want to get started with worms, but not sure how many you need, if you have an idea of how many worms you want to sell per week, but you don't know how many worms you need or how many bins you need, this little calculator is going to give you a good idea. It's not precise, um, but it'll give you a, a, a good eye opener as to how many worms you're going to need and how many bins you're going to need. And all this is going to determine how much space you have, where you're keeping the worms. There's a lot of other factors that goes into worm farming, but this would give you a good idea of kind of where, where you would start at and, um, and what you can afford. So if you could, I see we've got a few people on. If you could post in the comments, let me know where you're from. Um, that will, um, you know, just give you give yourself an introduction. This is Mimi from Mimi's Worms. I've been worm farming for um, going on six years. Um, we are currently we currently started in our laundry room, and we are now producing over 100 pounds of worms per week in a 22,000 square foot warehouse. Um, so I just wanted to, to show you guys where you could start and how this can work. So um, if you would go ahead and let me know who you are in the comments, that would be wonderful. I know we've got five of you watching. And I don't see anyone commenting where they're from. So let's give everybody just a few more minutes. Um, and let me see where, where you're from. Don't be shy. <laughs> All right. So let me just, I've, I've got the screen up. So I am here. And I want to sell 100 pounds of worms per week. That's of the average that we sell now. And in order for me to do that, I need to produce um, 100 pounds of worms every from each bin every uh, or from 14 bins every 14 weeks, if that makes sense. My bins are four by four, so they're 16 square feet. So in order for me to produce 100 pounds of worms a week in a four by four uh, bin, I need to have a total of 175 four by four bins. I would need to start out with 2,800 pounds of worms. And so if you want to produce 10 pounds of worms, in the same uh, square footage, which would be 16 uh, square feet, which would be four by four bins, you would need 17, 18 bins 
and you would need to start out with 280 pounds of worms. And then you would just, every, each week you would rotate from those bins, getting out the amount, you know, you never want to take more than half of your worms out of a bin um, when you're harvesting out of that bin, because you want that bin to repopulate within those next 14. So this is a 14 week rotation. So um, if you've got 17 bins, you're only taking out roughly, you know, a couple of pounds uh, or a pound out of each one of those bins, not even a pound, actually. It's probably about, let's see, 18, probably looking at about a half a pound out of each one of those bins. Um, so you each week you would be harvesting a half a pound out of these bins. So, and, and like I said, this is not precise. I mainly did this to calculate a hundred pounds of worms a week. If I wanted 200 pounds of worms, I would change that to 200 and um, I would need 350 bins. So you can just use this calculator to get yourself an idea of how many bins you need. You can change the square footage. If I wanted to do 100 pounds of worms um, a week and say that my bin is a four by eight, so that's 32 square feet, I would need about 88 bins. So if I was only using mortar trays, which are roughly two square foot, then I would need 1,400 of those to produce me 100 pounds of worms per week every week. Now, this is built on uh, a 52-week uh, time frame. And, um, you know, like I said, it's not precise, but it is, um, you know, it is a way to, to help you just so that you can, you know, People think that you can, you know, you can double your worms, but they think that they can start with a couple of pounds of worms and be selling out of that, you know, within, you know, a few months, which you can, but there's very little that you can sell out of there. So, hi, Ryan. Nice to see you, Batman, The Greener Life. Glad you guys could join us. Um, I am I'm so thrilled to have you here. Would be great if the rest of you could let me know who you are. All right. There's another one from the Republic. Uh, Y'all, I'm not really good with names. I'm terrible, but please forgive me. Um, but anyway, um, if, if you are in your journey uh, wanting to, to start a worm farm, not sure what you're going to need and, um, you know, and let me say this, I am a worm producer, not a casting producer. So if you have questions on volumes of castings and, you know, things like that, I'm not the go-to person for that. I'm strictly about raising and selling worms. Um, if you see where, you know, goodness gracious, I'd like to be able to sell, you know, 30 or 40 pounds of worms a week, but I don't have the space, you know, or the manpower to, um, to produce that many. What can I do? So there are several things that you can do. Um, I wish that I would have known more about what I know now when I first started and, um, there is, you know, uh, uh, when I first started, I didn't know a lot of the tricks of the trade. And if you're just starting out, you're not either. But one of the things that Mimi's does is we teach other people how to uh, grow their worm business. We teach you how to take care of the worms. Um, we answer all of your questions. Um, my number is, you know, 229-507-0203. You can call me anytime. Um, I'm the one that answers my phone, so I'll be glad to help you any way I can. 
Ryan is asking, how many would you advise starting with on the smallest to still be considered a commercial worm farm? So commercial worm farming is, um, you're considered a commercial worm farm if you're selling worms. So Ryan, to answer your question, it's really going to determine you need to determine how many worms do you want to sell per week. And um, and to get the calculator, guys, you need to email me your email address or DM me your email address and we can send you the calculator over. Um, I don't have a way to, to post. I, I don't want to post it on here. Um, but again, Ryan... Um, if you were wanting to sell 10 pounds of worms every week, you would need 280 pounds of worms in a four by four bin. And in those four by four bins, you would need 18 of them. And that would produce your 10 pounds of worms um, and keep it, you know, rotating on a, a 14 week. You would never take out more than, um, um half of the bed so keeping that in mind that's gonna that way your your worms can reproduce and keep your stock up so um we've had some new ones on um if you could everyone just let us know where you're from hi sean good to have you on here um and while we're on here and we're talking about the calculator if you have any other questions on how to raise worms, then, you know, just let me know uh, in the comments and I will try to help you guys out. Um, good month. Good morning, Laurel. Laurel, I believe I said that right, from Montana. Good to have you. Um, so what do you do with your castings? We sell them. Um, we don't post them out online because... For us, they are a uh, byproduct, and so we don't want to hurt the people that are actually out there, um, you know, making a living off of the the worm casting. So we just we do sell them, but we sell them at such a cheap price. We don't want to put that out there on the internet to hurt other people who are making a living because ours are like so much cheaper um it would just drive the market down so we only we just do it through word of mouth and um and that keeps our castings um you know being sold um so we do have not local farmers i mean we have some um people that come and get a ton you know to do their own backyard garden but again um we we don't we don't advertise them we don't um you know it's just not something that we we are into because in the worm farming business one of the things that i encourage people to do is decide if you want to grow worms or if you want to produce castings because you have to set your operation up two different ways so we're in the worm for, uh, producing industry so um we 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 have to set, set our bins up in order to maximize our worm production um which a lot of that is just keeping your beds a whole lot wetter than what you do for castings so that you, you know, with castings, you got to be able to sift them out. And um, there's just a, it's just a whole nother ball game. So um, with it being just basically me and my granddaughter that does this, um, it was just too much for us to, to try to, you know, get into the casting scheme of things, learn all there is to know, um, we have had our castings um, tested, and they are awesome. So, um, grow houses, I would think you produce a bunch just as a byproduct. 
Yes, we do. Um, we just sold about eight tons the other day. We've got about four more tons that we just um, sifted up in the last couple of weeks um, that we would like to um, push out. So if any of y'all are needing some castings, um, we, we sell them very cheap. You'll need to call me because, again, I don't put this out there. You can find my number on uh, on the uh, website, which is mimisworms.com. Give me a call. You will need to, um, you will need to figure out your own shipping because we sell them at the price we do. We don't take the time to, to do the shipping and all that. We will have them ready for shipping and we will load them on a truck, but you need to, um, you need to be the one to, uh, to handle all that and get it all together. Hi, Charlie. Good morning. Hey, guys, just to let y'all know, too, we do have a fantastic sale going on. We have a pre-order sale. Buy your worms now. We'll start shipping the first week of March, and you can get pure red wigglers half off our normal price of $79. So it makes them right about $39.50 uh, a pound. Um, there is no limit to how many you can buy, um, and it is a pre-order only. So if you need worms being shipped out in the next day or two, then you're going to need to just pay the regular price because um, this is a pre-order sale that we're doing. Um, it's to to help those that are, um, you know, up north can't get worms until March, April, May because of snow and weather. And it just helps get them a jump start of knowing they've got their worms secured. Um, hi, Alicia. Good to see you on here. Good morning. Um, so can someone um, tell me, I'm going to do this calculation for you right now. Tell me how many worms you, how many pounds of worms you would like to sell in a week and what size your bins would be. So if your bins are a four by four, a two by four, a three by three, whatever your dimensions are, tell me, um, tell me that, and then tell me how many pounds per week that you would like to, to be able to sell. Once your initial investment is made, then you don't have to buy worms again if you're only pulling out that amount of worms out of your your bins. Now you're not going to pull that 10 pounds out of one bin. You're going to pull that 10 pounds out of a number of bins to keep your your population in your your original bins to keep those repopulating. And if you need help with any, you know, with any of this, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you further your, you know, further along on what you need to do. If you look and you see that, oh my gosh, that's way more than what I can um, space that I have or that I even want to do. We have other ways that you can make money um, affiliating with Mimi's Worms, and we can go into that um, if you reach out to me. You can email me at Mimi's Worms, Mimi's Worms at gmail.com, or you can just give me a call. And yes, that is for Reds only. Uh, Sean, we're not running a sale on the Euros. Um, at this time. Now, if you will sign up for our newsletter when we have other sales that come out or if we've got information, um, we can get that information out to you. And um, you'll be on that that first one to get that, that sh you know. And we only send, um, normally we only send one email a week out. We don't try to bombard everybody with you know, uh, email every day. Um, you know, I don't like for somebody to just keep emailing me and emailing me and, you know, and I'm not interested. So anyway, um, Sean, if you will email me your email address, I will get you access to the calculator. Hi, AJ. It's always good to see you. Y'all, AJ has a YouTube channel too, and he um, helps teach people about worm farming. So um, check out his channel on YouTube. It's AJ Green's 
to AJ Green Topics. You can see him there in our chats. Um, and he has some fantastic videos um, that he likes to share. And um, AJ and I have been friends for a few years now. And um, I just I just think the world of AJ. And uh, he's really good about helping others. Um, he does a lot of promotion for other people. And um, so I'm getting a lot of of emails coming in with you guys giving me your email address thank you thank you i will get that calculator out there to you as soon as possible um i do got a really heavy day um going on and um so if i don't get it out to you right away it may be this afternoon just because I have a lot going on. I've got a guy coming to pick up some uh, big tub things that we had sold. And, you know, so. Hey, Dennis, good to see you. How you been doing? Um, I know this. Um, this video will be posted on our YouTube channel so you can come back to it if you miss any of it. So Dennis, I see you're on your way to work. So if you don't get to watch all of it, you can always come back uh, to the YouTube channel and uh, watch the rest of it there. Um, again, if you guys want the calculator, email me your email address or DM it to me, whichever is more convenient for you. And I'll get that calculator out to you. Um, hi, Smiley. Good to have you on here. Thank you. Thank you for the, the, the kind words. I appreciate it. Um, you guys, I am just, sometimes I have to pinch myself. And I'm not bragging here. But, you know, we started Mimi's Worms in 2018. And I started with one little five-gallon worm bin in my laundry room. And today we have hundreds of, of four-by-eight beds. We have some two-by-four beds. Um, we're selling over 100 pounds of worms a week. Um, and that's growing every year. One of the things that we stand out above a lot of the other places are our, is our customer service, not to mention our healthy worms and our, our just exceptional shipping um, that we do. But we have our phone number posted all over the internet in everything, and we're available 24-7. The only time I don't answer my phone is if I'm asleep and I don't hear the phone. But if I hear the phone, I will answer my phone. I have answered it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, hi, Ann. I'll see you later. Um, busy, the life of a worm farmer. Yes, I'll check it. Yeah, so um, <laughs> hi, Ann. Bye, Ann. Um, but yeah, you can you can check this video out. If you missed it um, today on live, you can check it out later on this evening. And, and just remember, um, give me your email address so that I can send you the calculator. I don't mind sharing it. I just don't want to put it out there um, because it is a Google Doc. So um, I want to be able to give you access to it. Good morning. Tammy, Tammy's reptiles. Tammy, what kind of reptiles do you have? And do you feed them worms? <laughs> I, have a, I have a few customers that buy red wigglers for their, their um, I think they're turtles that most of them are, are using them for. I'm not real sure. So my direct email is Mimi at uh, Mimi's Worms at gmail dot com, uh, Sean. And um, if you put it on the website, one that's fine too, because we'll get it there as well. Um, so I would like to to get some feedback from you guys. We're starting to build quite a few people here. So let's let's 
ask some questions. If you guys tell me how many of you already have a worm farm. If you already have a worm bin, a worm farm set up, let me know in the comments. And if you're just wanting to get started in having a worm farm, let me know that in the comments as well. AJ, I know you have a worm farm. Dennis, you have a worm farm. Any others? Anybody want to reveal what they're doing? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You're only talking to Mimi. Forget there's anybody else here. <laughs> Sean, you started last May with 3,000 euros. Awesome. Ryan, you have about 25 to 30,000 worms currently. Awesome. Ryan, do you sell worms now? And are you in the U.S.? And Smiley got one here. Awesome. So, Ryan, with you having 25 to 30,000 uh, worms, how many worms do you, how, how many pounds do you think or count do you think that you sell in a week? DNA worm castings. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. Awesome. Tammy, that is so, so true. You know, when I first started, the whole reason I started growing worms was because me and my grandson was going fishing every weekend and the worm quality around here was just terrible. I mean, the worms were lifeless. They were on the verge of death. Wouldn't really stay on the hook because they were just terrible. And um, so, uh, you know, I felt like I could just grow some worms. So we started out with the euros and um, from there we um, went into the composting worms in 2020 when COVID hit. So um, that really took our business to a whole different level. Um, Laurel says she currently has three 20 gallon bins, have been raising bins inside since 2009 on a small scale. Awesome. Ryan, no, not yet. I'm hoping to build up steel. I'm located in the U.S. and Sioux Falls. Oh, you're in South Dakota. You're up there where it's cold. What's your temperature like today? Oh, great. You've bought a lot of worms from us. So how was your experience with us, Ryan? Thanks, Dennis. Have a great day and we'll talk soon. Um, Andrew says he's running about 12, three and a half gallon buckets at the moment. We started with about 2000 worms, but have experienced a recent die off event. We have about 750 total at the moment. Andrew, do you know what, what caused your die off? And Timmy, you want to cultivate European night crawlers. We can help you with that. You are in the process of eliminating your blue worms for your inventory, if I'm correct. How is that going for you? Great, um, AJ. I should have, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, I should have a total amount of how many we have left. We don't have a whole lot left, to be honest with you. Um, great, Tammy. If you're in the research phase, um, I'd love for you to give me a call and and let me, you can pick my brain and I can help you with any questions that you have. If I don't know the answers, I will try to find the answers for you. I know a lot of people in this industry. Um, there's not too many big names that I don't know. Um, quite a few little names I know too. So not, not you know, downplaying that in, in any kind of way or up playing whatever. Um yeah, Alicia, I'm ready for some good fishing weather, too. It's been really cold down here in Georgia, y'all. We don't normally see temperatures in the freezing. And last week, it was freezing all week long. And everybody's been hibernated up here. And, um, you know, I still have to get out in it because I have a worm farm to run. But um, anyway, we just, uh, 
we just try to stay in where it's warm as much as possible. Um, so my 3,000 is now 6,000 breeders, but about 100,000 babies in pulling the breeder bins now. My babies are not growing as fast as my first month's baby. Sean, that could be partly due to the weather conditions that we're in. Even though my theory is, even if your worms are in a controlled environment, I feel like the worms still know what season we're in. And so they they do tend to, to get a little bit slower this time of year. Um, aspen bedding. I know you can use hemp bedding, but I'm not sure about aspen, Tammy. What I tell people is always start with a small container with five to, to 20 worms in it. Add whatever um, bedding or foods, foods that you're going to use. Put your worms in there. Give them a few days. See how they're acting. I have had it where um, I put the worms in and immediately they died. So it's always a good thing to test before you put it in everything. Um, you think the bucket's got sour. Um all right. Um, yeah, that can do it. We did not add enough bedding with our feed-ins. That's one of the number one problems that people tend to do. Um, yeah, the air. A good thing, if you're stacking um, buckets, Andrew, one of the good little tricks to that is to use that, um, you know, the the pegboards that people use to in in their um, stores to hang stuff on. You can take some of those pegboard panels. You can get them at Lowe's, stack those in between your buckets. They have that helps with your airflow. It's warm today. 28 and it's warm. I would be done, Ryan. Awesome. Awesome. Um. You can always give me a call, Ryan. I can can help you out with some things there too. Fourteen trays from one pound. That is awesome, Smiley. Wow, that is awesome. So the cold will um make your worms uh stop breeding. Um, they don't like cold weather. Not really cold weather. You want to keep your worms between 55 to 75. Um, you're welcome, Andrew. It's good to see you on here, Andrew. I hadn't talked to you in a little bit. All right. So, guys, is there any other questions? questions you have. I got a lot I've got to get done today. I would love to send you out this calculator just so you can play around with it, just to give yourself an idea of what you need and um, help you in any kind of way that I can on your journey in your your worm farming uh, operation. Um, thanks, Alicia. I'll talk to you soon. Ryan, I would love for you to reach out. That's great. Um, there's a few of you on here know that I've talked to you in the beginning. Glad you are doing well and um, hope to to uh, help any anybody that I can. Y'all just reach out. Be sure to send me your email address. Um, if you want to sign up to our newsletter, go to Mimi's Worms and sign up there. If there's anything that I can help you guys with, don't hesitate uh, to, to contact me. And Ryan says, I know rain can cause the worms to escape. Does snow have the same effect? My worms are indoors, by the way. Um, Ryan, I cannot answer that question for you because I have not personally ever had snow in Georgia, but twice in my life, and it lasted for about three seconds after it hit the ground. So I don't know. Um, I have, I don't like the UNCO system just because um, for me, it's just a lot of handling, too much handling. I really like um, having mine in these four by four bins and y'all, I have tried about every way there is to grow worms. 
Um, and that's just what I prefer. Laura says it's minus, minus 37 last week, actual temp, had a bin get ice crystals in about half of it, was worried I'd lost them, but they lived. Hope not to have that happen again. Thank you all for your time and info. Thank you. Good morning, Squigglers. Um, Squigglers, we are about to wrap this um, live up, but you can go back and watch it as soon as it's posted on YouTube. Um, Tammy uses egg crates in my roach colony and some of my gecko enclosures, so the worms will help with that waste. Absolutely. Um, you are so welcome, Andrew. If you guys want this calculator, email me your info. I will get it out to you. Like I said, I'll try to get it out as quickly as possible, but I do have a lot on my plate today, but I promise I will get it out to you. And um, yeah, squigglers, call me. Um, I'm always up for a call. If y'all want to contact me, honestly, calling me is the easiest way. I know a lot of people use email and text and all that, but I don't have a lot of time to sit down and write out stuff. So, I mean picking up the phone is, is a whole lot easier, you know, for me. So, um, Henny, if you will email that, uh, to me, if you don't mind, cause, um, it'll probably get lost in these comments. Um, it could be the low pressure. Absolutely. Laura. Um, you're right. I have had euros. That's the only worm I've ever had to crawl on me was euros. And it was because our temperatures went from about a 70 degree day down to about a 40 degree day in about an hour. It was so fast and it just, I didn't think to, to have the heater on. And then as the night grew, it got even colder, woke up at two o'clock in the morning and I thought about the worms and went out there and they were like, spaghetti blasted all over my greenhouse. It was terrible. Um, but that's the only worm I've ever had to crawl on me. Um, and again, that was my own fault for not having the heater on and, and thinking about that pressure dropping as fast as it did. Um, if you guys would like more um, content, let me know. Let me know what you would like to know about. And I will try to do a video for you guys. I love doing lives because it... Um, gives you interaction and, you know, helps you, um, uh, uh, answer people's questions on the spot. So anyway, Martin, if you could, um, email that to me, please. And I will try to get these out to you guys as quickly as possible. Again, you guys have a wonderful day. Try to stay warm if it's cold in your area. Victor, we are about to end this call. If you want to um, get it or watch it, just hop over to um, uh, to our YouTube channel and um, catch it there and you can re-watch it. If you guys have questions, don't hesitate to call me. Y'all have a wonderful day.